Hello everyone. Welcome to the Pseudo Science Podcast. Today's topic is time travel. So, in this episode, we will get to know about the basics of time travel. How exactly it works? What are the rules related to it? So, firstly, what is time travel? By 2020, everyone has an idea what is time travel. It's not a new term. We may have watched many time travel movies in different languages. If you are a sci-fi genre fan, you will definitely like it. In English, there are many movies and series related to time travel. example interstellar mib back to the future terminator avengers end game dark series etc in hindi there are few action replay love story 2050 in telugu we have 24 and aditya 369 only so among this which movies are true let's now discuss about time travel rules rule number 1 time is considered as the fourth dimension but we know only three dimensions that is length x axis breadth y axis height z axis and do not imagine the fourth dimension is linear as other axis it can be in any shape helix oval or some bulk shape how the things will appear in 4d we don't know its geometry is still undefined rule number 2 when a time traveler goes to a past or a future and performs any action or interaction can change the future from that point that is it can give rise to different outcomes rule number 3 to achieve time travel one must move at the speed of light or more than that rule number 4 the age of a time traveler never changes rule number 5 this one is little tricky just try to concentrate if you travel to the past from the present the past becomes your future and your former present becomes the past which cannot now be changed by your new future to get an idea about the fifth rule there is an example Let's assume you are in 2020. In 2020 there are three tenses: present tense, past tense and future tense. In present tense we say I am running. In past tense we say I ran. In future tense we say I will run. If you want to go to the past like in 2019 year, you will say I will go to 2019 with respect to the present that is 2020. So we are defining 2019 as the future by using will word. So the past becomes the future. and if you go to the past and you will say to 2019 people that i ran in 2020 according to you the action is completed so former present became past so which cannot be changed by new future means any action you do now in 2019 will be your new future which will not change the things you did in 2020 the concept is little tricky to understand so basically the tense can make you understand how the time works for the time traveler and also one more thing You can mute your version of 2019 if you do a time travel that is you move from 2020 to 2019. So basically in 2019 there will be two persons. One is 2019 new and other is 2020 who came from future to past. Let's now discuss about Albert Einstein assumptions. According to his assumptions there, there is a fourth dimension called as time. Time either slows down or speeds up depending upon how faster you move related to something. relativity equation e is equal to mc square uh, through this equation there are some conclusions drawn by some physicists that uh, if you travel at 10% of speed of light your mass increase by 0.5 and if you travel by 90% of speed of light your mass doubles what happens if you move at a speed of light you can achieve the speed of light if you are a superman uh, the things around you appears like moving in a flash like you are moving in a tunnel you will see the stars in the front are blue and the back are red and after some time everything blanks out because you are moving more than speed of light so this is it about today's episode we have learned some basics about time travel and some of the facts and assumptions of einstein do share your comments on this episode with me through instagram facebook and twitter and if you want the visual experience with graphics and animations of my episodes watch them on youtube and subscribe to my channel dhiraj kalapuri okay we'll meet you in the next episode with a new sci-fi topic Until then goodbye stay safe stay tuned